We're looking at practice it exercise 5.4 random x. We need to write a method named random x and it's going to keep printing lines. Each line contains a random number of x characters between 5 and 19 inclusively. So we need a public static void main public because it's just a public class static because we are referring to it just by itself and then void because we are not returning anything simply printing. We know our method is called random x. We take no parameters, so this is what our method or function header is going to look like. Now we need to call the random class. We need to make an instance of it. So we're gonna do random. We'll call this r, and it's gonna be equal to a new random, just like this. If you don't know how to use the random class, there's gonna be a how-to video in the description below the like button. So that is cool to check out, but this is gonna be very basic and very simple of it. So what we want to do is we want to have output print um, until our random number is 16 or more characters. And we can see when something that is 16 or more characters is hit, it still prints it and then it stops. This is very, very key to what we need to do. This is showing us that we should use a do while loop. So we're going to have do our brackets and then our while. And we are going to run this as long as our um, number is great or is less than 16. So inside of here, we are going to have to store a number. We're going to do int and we'll call this random. And then it's going to be equal to r dot next int. If you're familiar with scanners, this is basically like a scanner. It's going to grab the next integer. However, we can't just have a r dot next int like this. Um, we want it to be between 5 and 19. Basically between 5 and how it's read 5 and 20, but it doesn't include 20. So what we need to do first outside of here is start our baseline because the random number will start at 0, so we need to make it start at 5. 5 plus makes this happen, so it's starting at 5, and it's going to go how many times? Well, we want it to go... 15 more times right because then it'll hit 20 and it'll stop at 20 not including it so we are going to have 15 inside of here so we're basically saying we have 5 plus the 15 so we start at 5 and then we end at 5 plus 15 which is going to be 20 but we don't include 20. now something cool is that since this is a do while loop we're going to run this as long as random is less than 16. well we can actually put this inside of our do while loop. So we can cut it and paste it inside of here. We don't need it outside. And in fact, when we're done with this while right here, we can end our function. Inside of here is where we are going to do our printing. So we are going to use a for loop. We're gonna run this as long as int a is equal to zero. Int is just some random variable. And we're gonna say that, well, it starts at zero and it's gonna run as long as a is less than our random. And we're gonna do a plus plus. And then we're going to be inside of here, inside of our for loop. We actually don't need this bracket since all we're going to do is one line of code. It's going to be system.out.print, where we are printing a simple character that is x. So that's going to be how our code will work. I believe we could do this in a for loop. Uh, maybe not, though, since it's a do while. And the difference between for loops and while loops and do while loops is that for loops and while loops, their header is up here. So they check the condition before it runs. Now a do while loop does all of this code and then it checks the condition down here. So it's going to run everything and then um, do the thing. And it says that it cannot find a simple value random. Uh, that's okay. We can, I guess, not make it inside of here because it'll only be inside of this part. We'll just do int random like this. And then we will take away the int right here, so we're just updating our random inside of here. And then we run it again, and we have not passed all of our tests. And this is because the output prints on the same line. So when this for loop is done, when we come out of it, we're going to do a system.out.print line just so that we have a new line in between everything. So we can run this again. Oh, and I did not do a system.out.print line. So if we have dot out dot print line and we run it, we've passed four out of four tests. 
So that's a quick introduction to the Rainham class. If you want more info about it, there is a how-to video in the description below the like button. Um, we can also maybe try, instead of writing this, taking this and actually putting it in our for loop because this will update our random. So if we submit this, it says the variable random might not have been initialized. And that's because uh, since we never initialized it up here, we can't really use it in here. It kind of breaks it. And it breaks it right here. So even though it does this, it doesn't store in random. So random has nothing inside of it. And this isn't a problem until we use it. We see that right here, before we commented this out, in this line, line six, we are updating random. We're not using it yet. After we update it, we then use it, which is okay. Since we don't have it updated and we never initialize it once we put it in the for loop, it kind of breaks it. So we're not allowed to do that. So we need to keep it out here and we can pass all the tests like this. So that's it for 5.4 random X.